I'm Andrea Jones, I'm the Director of Bird Conservation for Audubon, California. And we're here on Arambru Island, which is a restoration project we started eight years ago because of the Costco Busan oil spill. And one thing we're seeing today is how important this island is for migration in the Pacific Flyway. We're seeing birds such as least sandpipers migrating from their breeding grounds up on the west slope of Alaska and they're landing on the shores of Arambru Island and they're feeding and they're resting here. We're also seeing long-billed curlews today, another bird that's come out from the um, interior U.S. and they're spending the winter here. So not only have we attracted breeding birds to the island such as black oyster catchers, but we found that it's been a very important site for migratory and overwintering shorebirds as well. And we are standing here on Arambaru Island, which was created by Bay Phil back in the early 1960s. And during the Costco Busan oil spill, birds were trying to escape the oil and came out to this island as a refuge. But at that time, the habitat had totally degraded, the island was eroding, and after we noticed that so many birds were coming out here and using the island, we decided that we should restore it to actually serve a habitat purpose for these birds. We came out here and put in a completely new shoreline, so gravel and sand and mud flats all got put in here and we used dead eucalyptus to armor the shoreline to prevent erosion and so now we have a diversity of habitat for birds here and almost immediately after restoration black oyster catchers came back and started nesting on the island shorebirds come and use the island right now we have these sandpipers behind me foraging um, we have longbow curlew elegant terns that use it as a roosting site and it's been a very successful project.